Hi, it's Angela from foodstorageandsurvival.com. Today we're going to be starting a fire using a magnifying glass. You'll need a few things to make this fire. First you'll need a magnifying glass of some type. I have a large lens, fairly thick magnifier. I also have a very small, thin, plastic magnifier from a pharmacy. Either one works as a magnifying glass. The large one works a little bit better, but the small one will work fine on a certain tinder. You're also going to need some tinder, so today we're using some paper towels, and we're also going to use some char cloth. And for instructions on how to make char cloth, you can find a post on my blog on making great char cloth. All right, you ready? Let's get started. Okay, to start our fire with our magnifying glass, first we're going to get a magnifying glass into the sunshine. We've got our tinder down below ready to catch on fire. Now you see underneath the magnifying glass how it makes a circle of light. Hold your magnifying glass at the edges and move your magnifying glass and tip it so that your circle of light gets as small and round as possible. When it's really tiny round dot, that's when the heat is concentrated the most and that's where you're going to catch your fire. So you're going to put that really small dot right on your tinder. You can see it's starting to smoke there. Now the thing that I found with a magnifying glass and regular tinder like a, a paper towel is that I can get it to smoke a lot but it doesn't catch on fire. I don't actually get a flame. So here's where the char cloth comes in. We're going to use a piece of char cloth in, in addition to our tinder. You don't need a very big piece. I've got a little bit of breeze today so we're hopefully not going to have it blow away. Okay, now you focus your circle of light onto that piece of char cloth. The char cloth catches fire fairly easily. In fact, it's, it's quite hot right now. Okay, I'll usually wrap my char cloth up into the tinder and blow. I don't know if you can see the flame. You should be able to see the fire starting there. All right, that is on fire. And with that flame, you can get your fire started. You'll have your other small sticks and tinder and stuff ready to go to get your fire going. All right, in that last segment, I showed you, we started a fire with a magnifying glass using a very large magnifying lens. Um, in this one, we're gonna use this smaller pharmacy lens. Lighter weight, thinner, perfect for packing in your bug out bag, 72 hour kit type of kit. Um, the pharmacy lens, it doesn't give you quite as hot a dot, but it will give you um, a small dot. You want, again, as small and round as you can. This one doesn't light the paper towel on fire very well. So, in fact, I, I can't get smoke or anything out of it. This one needs some char cloth or um, some other type of very, very dry tinder that might catch on fire. Okay, we're going to use the char cloth here. Again, put your little tiny dot on the char cloth. Okay, you can kind of see it starts to change in color. Then it's lit. And just blow on it. And as you blow, you can see the embers just burning in that char cloth. There we go, we're burning. So you can start a fire with even a very small magnifying glass. And that's how it's done. Thanks for watching. Check out more on my blog, foodstorageandsurvival.com.